I said something like this, although Kentucky was the best basketball squad, they learned to play as a team by playing many games in overtime and almost being defeated. Now, what I just said there was called a concessive statement. And what that means is that if you lay out a positive, sort of like what I did uh, with the example, Kentucky was the best basketball squad. I supported it by saying they learned to play as a team by a negative statement, by saying they had to play many games in overtime and almost getting defeated. The strength and positivity of that statement was backed up by a seemingly um, negative or uh, contrasting statement, or almost a, um, a, a, like a negative contradictory statement, like how can they be that good if, if they played many games in overtime and being defeated? But it really highlights how good the team was by playing many you know, games in overtime and almost being defeated. It showed their cohesiveness as a team. And those kind of statements are called concessive statements. It lays out a proposition and then supports it by a seemingly contrary or contradictory statement or a negative statement. So let's look at more in detail about what a concessive is, and we'll look at one in Scripture and see how they work out, okay? Let's look at concessive. The definition for a concessive is the relationship between a main clause and a contrary statement. The symbol we're going to use for a concessive is capital C and then lowercase sv, concessive. Now, the key words that we're going to look for uh, which make a concessive difficult is that there's no key words. There's no specific key words. It more has to do with the language used uh, and the attitude that it's used um, as opposed to um, specific words that are used. So, we can identify this if we look at Hebrews 5.8. Let's look at one, let's identify a scripture that uses a concessive statement. Hebrews 5.8 says, Although he was a son, that's your positive, he learned obedience from what he suffered. So if we're going to break this into propositions, we look, although he was a son, that's, that's one proposition. How did he do that? He learned obedience from what he suffered. That's your second proposition. Although he was a son, what was the positive? He learned obedience and then we see the contrary or contrasting statement. It says, from what he suffered. Obedience in the positive, and then through what he suffered in the negative. So we see, although he was a son, positive, he learned obedience, positive, from what he suffered. So we can split it there. How do we connect it? Although he was a son, connects to he learned obedience through what he suffered. That's your concessive, right there. So notice, the concessive clause supports the main clause because it highlights the strength of the main clause which stands despite the obstacle of the concessive clause. So that's a concessive. It's a contrary statement that's supporting the, the, the main idea that's being driven home. And they're, they're kind of hard to get a hold of simply because there's no key words that we look for. With all the other ones, with the exception of maybe one or two um, different sessions that we've had, there's always key words. Here, there's no key words. You're looking for a switch in idea as opposed to specific key words that you're looking for. So keep that in mind as you're, you're going through the scriptures. Look for the main uh, idea and see if it's being supported by like a contrary statement or a contrasting statement. So that's concessive, and we'll see you in the last teaching session on situation and response.